Hey, that's human slavery. I just wanted to start off with that. So, um, don't worry, there's not going to be a lot of wandering in the start of this video. There very well could be later on, but, uh, the dungeon has been located. I'm, uh, surprised that nobody actually pointed this one out. Maybe it wasn't... Here's the thing, I, I don't think it was obvious anyway. You know, we'll, we'll discuss it when we get there. But, uh... Yeah, we're, we're doing this first, so... This is actually not going to be the dungeon. Uh, if, as you may recall, there was a suspicious sparkle on one of the uh, tombstones on this screen, so we wanted to investigate this at night. I actually realized this basically as soon as the video was over, and I was, like, you know, upset that I didn't check it. I'm like, that's got to be it. It's actually not it. You know, I still want to do it, but it's not needed for progress. I'm trying to clear out the bullshit at least a little bit. I can probably get in and just poke an ass, but... We might be here for a while. This might be a, t a time to mention that, uh... Although there has been, you know, a little bit of a delay in recording this, it's not due to my usual case of just, you know, not being interested in playing the game. I have wanted to. Um, you know, I've gotten sidetracked by a couple things, or just was busy some days. Had some, uh, questionable throat problems. You know, all that good stuff. Alright, I can always use more bombs. Now, are these gonna get replaced, or... Eh, one of them did. Right, we should be good. There we go. Yeah, I could have done that without killing him, but... I curse you. There, I hope you like it. Oh, that, that... I was expecting, like, you know, I hope you like it with you now having all this extra magic, haha, or some stupid shit, but no, just, it just, I hope you like it. So yeah, already double magic. It's kind of surprising. Anyway. Let's, uh, go to the dungeon, then, if I don't get murdered by, uh, Whitey. I'm like, hmm, should I make a KKK reference? Nah, nah, well, we'll, maybe, maybe not in the first few minutes of the video. I sure do love how my eye hurts, because I'm pretty sure, uh, when I woke up today, I got, I had, like, you know, eye crust, and I, like, rubbed it into my eyelid, and I am not convinced that it's come out since. You'd think it would have, like, dissolved and gone away by now. It, it probably has, but no, I'm still irritated nonetheless. Can I make it past without getting Sneen? I have not gotten Sneen. Alright. So we're going back to Lake Hylia. Um... So, like I said, we'll, we'll see the, uh, for the record, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that secret there was the only major thing I missed. I had, uh, Autumn basically go through and, like, copy down all of the instances where I said, like, you know, I should come back here for this item later, and I watched, like, the first four videos of the, that one LP. I still don't remember the name of the guy who did it, um now that I haven't watched it in weeks, I have less of a reason to remember, but yeah. Um, basically, basically, I feel like at this point, this dungeon is like the only thing I've missed. Um, and it's, uh, it's not super obvious, but I still probably should have noticed it. I don't know, we'll see when I get there. I'm also wondering now if I maybe didn't go on the screen. I, I'm sure there's footage that shows if I did or not. But I have a tendency to walk around areas. So here's the dungeon. Th that's it. It's right there. So, let me take a second here and explain before we go in the dungeon. Um, I don't think anybody's going to be on my ass for missing that, because, you know, in Zelda 1 standards, 
sometimes you would hide shit like that, where it's like you really kind of have to check every screen for everything that could possibly stand out. Later games usually make important locations more obvious. I was trying to think, like, you know, in terms of my quests, have there been any that are that bad? And, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, so in BA1, you kind of have to, like, you know, bomb a specific rock to get in there, but there's, like, you know, there's obviously a dungeon over there, and there's, like, a bridge. You just get the rock out of the way. Um, you know, nothing will be worse than the Mitch level 7 entrance, which is just shoot a arrow at a cactus in the desert, but that one was supposed to be stupid. Now, still makes it bad, but it's stupid. Anyway, yeah, this one is just, yeah. The, the readme does say that the, like, candle should be used on, like, strangely colored plants. But, I mean, this one's orange. I guess you could have an orange, you know, octagonal bush. And you couldn't have a blue one, but whatever, let's just go in. So... I've not seen anything of this level. Oh no. Who, who is saying this? Where are you? Oh. Alrighty. So I'm seeing mirrors, which is leading me to believe early um, wand, unless it's expecting me to come back here. So sad. Huh, <laughs> women, am I right? So, I'm curious if this is a dungeon D-map. Nope, this is a cave. Unless, actually, no, this could still be open caves. We'll find out later. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out eventually. I'm also noticing a little bit of uh, pallet cycling. The ground is actually... Changing color slightly. What are these? Probably just water drainage thinguses. I have a feeling this place is going to be either very short or it's going to, like, you know, ramp up in complexity and there's like a second floor or something. This is also the reason for why you can't pass here. Zora apostrophe S. Also, that's like the wrong direction apostrophe. I didn't even realize that was a character. Unless that's just how it always is in Zelda Classic, I've honestly not noticed. So far, we're just kind of getting story. It's not really a dungeon. I'm not sure what the S stands for. We will find out later. I want to go this way first. <laughs> Good thing I brought my magical floor tile. Oh me, oh my. Alright, so hold on. I, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like mumbo talking here. You know, like... We soon extinct. But no, just... I won't lie to you, we soon extinct. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of... Jiving with the story here. I don't, I don't know what I'm just trying to say. <laughs> I like how we have now uh, managed to rip him off. Wait, did that say Alto? I, I think I missed that one. Myra, you've definitely been helping a lot. You know you done when you are teleported out. 
Alright. So, I guess this is the raft then. And then we hear all of that text again. No, probably not. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, so this screen definitely has a point currently. I guess we're going to be coming back here when, uh, when I have flippers, unless I actually get them here. You probably don't. It would be weird to get them this early. Yeah, I don't know. I'm in, like, a weird mood right now. I always get, like, super self-conscious when I don't know what to say during a cutscene. Because I'll just either, you know, point out a joke that people can see on their own, or I'll try to make, like, some kind of shitty commentary on it, and it's like, whatever, I just I need to just get over myself and not worry about it. Oh, nice tiling error, jackass. So, what do we got going on here? You're a different C-set from the rest. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Okay, and that was it. Um, am I already going to be having problems? Because I don't remember where to go with the raft. I guess there's various raft spots in Lake Hylia in general, so that's fine. I'll check them out. I'm surprised that text didn't go away. Okay. So every time I come in there, then probably. Okay, so not the dungeon, really. At least I would not expect that to be considered the dungeon. Maybe you come back to it later and then it's a dungeon. I, I don't know. Either way, we've made, you know, measurable progress, so let's go find some shit to do. Are these little <laughs> enemies the, gor the Gorias? I always say Goria. I think it's supposed to be like Goria or like Goria. I, I don't know. Oh, wow, I can't believe they didn't disable secret sands for the raft. I'm gonna, okay, I'm just gonna not touch any directions because I have no idea if this game has a standard for, like, indications of when you can turn. I don't wanna you know, get too much freedom too quickly. This little indentation here is Azora's sapphire shape. I've seen that in the tile set before. I think there's also ones for uh, the other two spiritual stones, so... I'm going to assume that that was placed there intelligently and that this is an indication that, you know, this is where I want to be. If I clear out this area and nothing happens, then I may have to rethink that. This pea hat needs to fucking stop. Okay. <laughs> I always like to be sure. I suppose if I find anything blue, I will, uh, note a burn. I'm trying to think if there's any other obvious indications yet. Okay, so far we've burned a chicken. Um, I've bombed a big Octorok. I have not bombed some Dodongos, surprisingly. Right, is this... Is this a place worth investigating, or should I go through the rest of the area? Let's see. I like the random bubbles. Source of the flow, okay. This is looking like a proper dungeon. You know what that means. Let's check other shit first. I think I've only got like three more screens. And, uh... You know, a case could be made that I could try and, you know, find other raft spots and maybe even find more gear before doing the dungeon, but... I, uh, I think we've had enough wandering for a while, so I'm not going to have to just do it. I will assume this P-Hat does not hold the secrets to the universe, nor does this one. Have I already gone up this way? I don't remember. I still don't remember. There's an indication that I need to play some music. Write that one down in your copy books now. Alright. 
but will we have Myra randomly popping up every screen to uh, be, you know, a spunky female protagonist? Well, we've already made a wrong decision. Unless this is one of those special decoration chests I've heard so much about. It was not. To reiterate, I uh, believe a lot of this game's soundtrack is actually custom. So I, uh, I don't recognize this one, but it very well may not actually be a song from a different video game. I uh, currently have no expectations for the dungeon design in this quest, so... I, uh, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, take it slow, not check for secrets everywhere. Have no reason to worry about that quite this early. Is that a lock block? I guess, yeah. Actually, it looks like a boss lock block. I couldn't poke it with my key. But would it do any good, though? Is that a fucking bat whiz robe? No, that's just a... Okay, so hold on. I'm, I'm being confused by multiple things, so... Let's go one thing at a time here. First of all, why did we slash the fire? I'm glad that there was an indication, because I probably would have not thought to try that. But I don't know why I did it at all. Secondly, do you kill me? Yes. Third, why is there a pile of cookies and cream ice cream on the floor? I have no idea why that's there. And fourthly, if indeed this is a lock block, why do I want to go up there? Is that a teleport tile? Yeah, I guess that is. Never mind. I answered my own question. Shark. I like the random shark. I like its little groovin. I, I don't quite get why it's there, though. What do you mean, sound effect for an item appearing? No, there wasn't. Where? Is it behind the shark? Oh, was it just that? I guess it was just that. I did fucking blended in with the floor. I didn't see that shit. And we've got dungeon heart pieces, and we've got hookshot targets, presumably. Okay. So I guess we are getting the hookshot really early. King Zora said he gave the hookshot to another explorer, so I will find him in this dungeon and kill him with no remorse to get the hookshot so that I can use it to uh, acquire fine bitches. That's my plan, and nothing will stop me anyway. Also gotta say, you know, in addition to nobody commenting on the, uh, the blue tree, I am very disappointed that nobody commented on the part in the last video where I said that, uh, you know, I had to collect the three spiritual stones and then fuck my own cousin. I, I just kinda decided on that one partway through the sentence, and I was like, you know, this has no relevance to anything, but this is the part where, like, you know, if people are kind of tuning out, if they're listening to the video and, like, not really watching it, they'll hear that and be like, Wait, what the fuck? And then tune back in. That was, it was strategic, but it, nobody seemed to care, so. Okay, see, this is confusing me. Unless that other block just disappears with this one. I don't know what doing this would accomplish. It probably just makes the other block disappear, but then that raises the question of why the fuck it's there. Either way, we're going back to the, uh, I'm gonna just open a lock door. This is the part where we find out that the quest was not intelligently designed, and I can actually get stuck. I'm guessing that that is not true. Well, so we got more verticality than I expected. What? <laughs> 
What? Oh, okay. Man, she really loves that I found that compass. This compass has a new feature. It makes a sound every time you enter a room with a key in it. Get off the damn screen. Okay, so it's just flashing the entrance. That's odd. Unless it's saying that, like, above the entrance room is, like, you know, on another floor, maybe. Or maybe it's just pointing out the key that I already found. I don't know. We'll find out. Is the song fading out? I can't tell if... No, maybe it just got kind of quiet for a bit. I don't know. It's weird. Um, I feel like this is an obvious bomb spot. It's not indicated on the map, but I'm going to check it. I just remembered Vinny just doing a shitty little Do the Mario song, and he uh, randomly had the song turn into Fuck Your Own Father, and then just started laughing. He's like, look, I had no control. That's where the song took me. I didn't choose this. I don't know why I'm being so oddly conservative with my key. Like, I assume that, you know, each one of these locked doors or areas blocked by the lock blocks are gonna give me another key, so there's no real reason to hang on to it, but eh, it's just wrong. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So I guess that one is probably a staircase. Like, I already have the map. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I like bomb some walls. Five keys, no item, no power. I don't know what that means. Uh... Well, it's showing that I've got the map, so that was probably, uh, just setting the, like, D-map initial items thing. Um, what does that say above the square I'm in? Does that just say map? I don't know. That's a strangely detailed map, though. I kind of like it. Alright, what do we got? Oh. The fuck? Here, you want a fish? You want a super? No, I'm not doing a super bomb. I guess it's just a trap. I hope that didn't actually do anything. So having a key count is nice. Um, I'll have to mentally keep track of how many keys I've gotten. Though I assume, you know, it probably isn't going to give you any that you need to use outside of the level. Yeah, maybe I assume too much. Am I already gone right? I already don't remember. Uh, no, I don't believe really I have. The fuck is this statue doing throwing boomerangs? Like, I, I get it's an enemy in there, but... Who do you think you is? I want an explanation for the cookies and cream ghosts. I guess that's just supposed to be like ectoplasm or something. Okay. That was uh, quite the amount of treasure there. So far, a uh, 
don't have a whole lot to say about this place. It's, uh... I would consider this a step above most, like, you know, standard Zelda classic dungeons. Like, you know, there's some of them that get, uh, pretty creative, and then there's ones that are just basic-ass dungeons. This one is a basic-ass dungeon, but it's, like, visually interesting. Like, there's nothing wrong with the thing being a basic-ass dungeon, necessarily. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's got rooms that aren't perfect rectangles like my fucking quests are. Um, it's got some verticality. The rooms are reasonably distinct. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I have no issues with it. Alright, let's actually see what's behind this door now. Got a fancy door opening animation, except... It does that every time I come in, so I gotta wait for it to open. Look, with the, with the, I, I don't have time for these extra frames. I, I could, you know... What if I die a minute before I finish the series? And it's all because... Yeah, I had a feeling. Um, the only reason I died was because, you know, I wasted my time with those doors opening. Then what will we do? I mean, I don't have to worry about it, because I'll be dead, but... What will the rest of us do? Who's gonna upload that last video when I die before finishing it? What, is the cat gonna do it? I don't think so. Mavis. Okay, so why are... why are we different colors? Is this the, you know, the two Iron Knuckles in Ganon's castle, where you're racist no matter which one you attack first? This one's also got, like, some bullshit surrounding it, and this one... No, I guess that's just the floor pattern. I don't know. Probably nothing. Oh, what the fuck? What do you mean you hit the statue with the boomerang to open the door? That was an accident. Man! <laughs> also, where's your ice cream? Okay, this is looking like a boss where I'm heading so let's... I mean, I, I could. If it's a mini-boss, maybe. I, I'd also probably want to come in with, like, full health, but... Uh, let's take a look. Okay, mm no, this is... What, what, what is this? This is the hook shot across somehow. Currently not seeing what this is. There's like a little square dancing bubbles thing over there. I can't tell what that's meant to be. Well, let's go back. I've got more stuff to use keys on, I guess. Actually, I want to get my health back. Burtve. Have I gone this way yet? No. I didn't realize that this was actually a thing I could do. Okay, glad I bumbled into that one. What did I just take damage from? What do, what do you mean? Why, why is this floor randomly damaging in some places? See, I've been putting off that wall tile, because it's going to be like, Link, listen, I am... <laughs> I can talk to you with these tiles. By the way, there's some invisible spikes down there. Don't step on them. They are swimming very fast and are little. Please stay out of the water. I, lo I love the spacing. Alright. Is it just... Okay, so it's not combo cycling. It's just, yeah, some of these are damage combos. That, that's kind of what I figured until she said that there were things swimming around. I'm like, maybe every tile just randomly becomes damaging after a couple seconds. No, that is not the case. 
Also, I haven't commented on the water dripping from the ceiling. Um, I don't remember if I've already removed that from the tile set in BA3, because I plan on having a, like, water dungeon in that game, and, uh, it would fit well in that. I hope I haven't removed it yet. But, uh, these things take a stupidly large amount of tile space, because... I don't know if 210 fixed this, it might have. You can't combo cycle in 192, and so for an animation like this, you know, you have to have, there's a tile, like, here's two tiles above me, I'm standing on the third, there's four, there's five, there's six. You have to have six different tiles that are like, you know, here we have, like, here's the water droplet falling down, it animates down. Okay, it's left the tile. Now it sits on a blank tile for 16 times five tiles. And then it basically, you know, it does that for every one of these. It's a tremendous waste of space. It looks cool, but it is very space-consuming. That is something that's just included in uh, Dance of Remembrance style set, but... Uh, I, guess I, I, I like when things have more detail like that. Also, I'm noticing... I haven't drawn attention to these weirdly colored blocks. I assume there's no meaning to those, but... Right. And, uh, these rupees are fake. Oh my god. Even if, uh, even if one of them was real, I'd be able to tell because, uh... It would, like, load in after the screen scrolls. I'm actually curious now if any of them are real. Hold on. Like... Maybe one of them will, like, move very slightly. Eh, if it did, it was perfectly, uh, blended in. I'm full on money anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Okay, this is a little bit more of interest to me, but, uh, there are small things in the water. And also... Okay, that key is real. Yeah. Do I burn the green statue? And then will I, you know, destroy Manhattan when that turns out to be the solution? No? Okay. You just, you just green for no reason? Also, do I call it blue? I know my colors, I promise. Uh... I guess. The other things I know aren't real, I still kind of want to try anyway. Can't tell me what to do. Oh shit, it's fake. Oh! I, I meant to hit F6. I, I just succeeded. By which I mean I didn't succeed. Why the fuck did I say I succeeded? What the hell? I'm good at talking, I promise. So are we at four keys now? I already don't remember getting a fourth. I remember having two and holding on to them, and then getting that one just now. Where the hell was the other one? Whatever. Why was there a green statue? And in, uh, you know, the totally accurate Wind Waker speedrun video by Scott Falco. Why were there statues of the game grumps in Dragon Quest... Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Cavern. I don't need to go this way, really, do I? That's gonna lead to the two chests. The problem with having this map is, uh... Oh, wait. Never mind. I was gonna say, having this map on the pause screen, uh, you know, every time I go in a screen, it's gonna, like, I, I won't know if I've been there or not, but, uh, no, I will, because the map is fine until I walk over it, and then it gets ruined by the black square covering it. And I actually don't see how to get up there, so never mind. We'll check that out at some future time. Strange creatures world all the time, all the rhyme. 
The companions looked at each other and said nothing, and then continued. All the time, all the rhyme. Alright, so... That is indeed a boss key. Block, block, alright. Hopefully, unlike, uh... Was it 192, beta 183? Boss key lock blocks actually work. I think that was the version that had broken lock blocks? God, now I actually don't remember. Because in Dr. Wily's Revenge, the crowbar used to get into the Hell Dungeon was a boss key, and you could just open the thing without it. Um, because they just were programmed poorly. I think 184 fixed that. We haven't gotten to a point that uses boss keys yet, so I am not sure of this. Was there anything over here? I already don't remember. Well, there was definitely a block at the, uh, like, you know, upper right of this area, so we'll try to get rid of that. The key won't work on it for some unexplained reason, then I'll get pissed off and, you know, destroy Manhattan again. Okay. Why is there a second block? I wonder now if there's a way to get up here like, earlier, and then... No, because there's a button here that gets rid of these blocks. I don't fucking know. Oh, but there's also a button over there. Oh. Why was there also a button over there? Because it's a trick attempt for some reason. Okay. Why is it a trick attempt? What did I just pick up? I don't think it was a key. Bomb some walls. Oh, am I in the bomb some walls area? Is this the wall I need to bomb? That damn wall. What, what I don't get a bonus for hitting this with the boomerang? Okay. Anyways. I sure am going through all the keys. I think there's only one key left. While I'm uh, currently thinking about it, I'd like to point out this uh, this advanced pause screen here. Um, all that shit that's like, you know, key 5, no item, bubble floor, F1, no power, like... All that stuff is just drawn onto the map also. Three hours, yeah. Um, like, that's not something that ZQuest is displaying. Like, they just made... The creator just made graphics for that. However, the thing on the left with the compass and the, compass and the map is ZQuest. And in newer versions of ZQuest, like 250 onwards... You can make these however you want, I'm pretty sure. But, um, in 2.10 and previous, you were restricted to a few custom types, and I don't... I think the thing that's showing the compass and map and the space for the boss key is exclusive to the, uh... I think it's exclusive to Revision 2, which is this one that's five wide instead of four, because it has space for the, uh, goddess spells. I never used the goddess spells, so I am not used to this format, but uh, it do be existing. Also, I uh, appear to be missing a key. We may be at the point where it is time to bomb some walls. Mm. Only places I've not been are in the right. But it says bomb some walls over here, so I'm gonna assume it's, uh, the dam. That dam dam. I'll be the- I'll be the dam buster. And then, maybe we'll get, like, a little fancy getting washed away cutscene? No. Did I just somehow miss? Okay, 
for sure. Um. Okay, where do you want me to be bombing some walls? Is it up here? No. Is it left from here? No, because there's no left from here anymore. Uh, I don't like it when dungeons just turn into randomly try shit. I don't know if we're quite at that point yet. There might be a hint I'm missing. wander a bit more, and then I might have to off-screen until I find the solution. Like, I find it hard to believe that I would bomb this wall. I don't see what that would accomplish. So let's, let's recap here. Um, I'm trying to think, like, you know, this one's now a little bit too covered up to say much about, but uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I've not visited, other than the far right. On the far right, there's, like, that little L-shaped hallway that looks like it has a single off-color pixel on it that's, like, the same color as another pixel to the left of it. Maybe those are warp pads that connect. Let me go check that out. Stop worrying about rupees. Clearly, I need to, uh, you know, follow where Ice Cream Ghost has been going. Okay, wait, did I? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was me holding right. Um, yeah, I held right on this darker tile. I can't tell what that darker tile is supposed to actually be. So I don't know what the indication is for being able to turn yet, but it's something. Alright, uh, bomb some walls. Oh, here we go, there's actually a crack, it's just hard to see. Alright, you fucking... I really hope we get an explanation for Ice Cream Ghost. What are you? Okay, um... Okay, um... What? If I had to guess this was anything, I would say this is a hammer block, but I definitely don't have that. I really don't want to use my super bomb on it. Wait, what the hell? I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna save and use my super bomb on it. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm currently expecting a 0% chance that this will do anything, because I don't think I can get more of these. Uh, no. No, it was definitely not that. Alright, so... The, uh... The compass is showing this room. I don't know if that's relevant. I still don't know what's up with the boss room. It's possible that I'm missing a key somewhere. And yeah, that was the rest of the sentence. So let, let me let me review the map again here. Um, if we're just looking at the yellow spots, there's one right here, which I got that key. There's one up here, which I would have gotten. There's the one over here, which was the only real item in that like set of three. There's one here, which was the real chest. That's... Oh, that is five. Okay, so the only one I'm missing is the one that's south of that one room. Um, so I need a way to somehow hit that button. 
and I still don't remember what was up at the boss room. It was like... It, it didn't look like there was even a way to cross it. purple block, there's the square dancing stomachs. Like, even if I get the hook shot here, I don't know what I would use it on to get across. If I had to guess, you know, because this says floor one, maybe there is another floor and like something drops onto that, that becomes a hook shot block. And then that's how I get over. And then, like, maybe that's a warp to the boss. I don't fucking know. Um, I feel like I can't do anything here, but, you know, let's try stupid shit. Oh, not of bombs. Let's try stupid shit. Hey, but you know that didn't work. Um, I don't really know. Um, I should probably just do another sweep of the level and see if anything else jumps out at me. I just you know, don't want to subject everybody else to that. I'm trying to remember what all these uh, other colors on the map indicated, too. Because there's like those little green dots. There was that random thing that I hit with the boomerang and it opened up for no fucking reason, so you kind of have to, you know, expect that there's some stupidity somewhere. <clears throat> I'm going to wander off screen for a bit. I will, uh, I guess I'll cut back whenever I find something. I'll probably be exasperated by it. So, uh, I didn't find anything. And that, uh, that mean that's telling me that maybe I need to go look around in the overworld some. Oh, okay. I really didn't want this to turn into more wandering, but, uh, here we are nonetheless. There, I, I have no idea if I'm going to find anything, but I at least want to fuck around with the raft a bit. There's probably more stuff in this map I can reach. There's maybe some stuff back in Hyrule Field. I'll just... About why am I still collecting rupees? So I'm just gonna kind of hold directions and see if anything happens. Uh, so far, that I can, can I like go into this deep spot? No. Okay. See, like the quest has now established that I can only turn when it's a. Uh, like a dark tile, so I don't think holding... Oh. Never mind, holding random directions did do something, okay. Alright, well, I mean, I can't hold that, so I don't particularly want it. Uh, actually, I probably should have held right there to see if there was another island. There's one down into the left of me currently. Um, It is, uh, difficult to say if any of these can be reached. There's some shit all the way to the top right. There's some stuff down here. So yeah, like, I, I kind of just, I, I got nothing at the moment. Um, I can't imagine that there's anything I can do with that little button thing that I found. That needs hookshot, definitely, which I theoretically should be getting soon. Um, I also don't remember for certain if King Zora, you know, gave me instructions of what to do beyond, like, go into the dungeon and kill shit. 
I'm now, like, you know, concerned that there was more to it than that, and it was like, go to this other place and kill shit. Because I remember her saying, I remember her saying, like, you know, you'll get teleported out when you're done. That sounds like a little mini challenge thing, not like a whole dungeon. So, I don't know, I'd have to review what he actually said. I'm holding directions, and I probably shouldn't be. I'm just gonna keep mashing buttons. Oh, this is... This is just where you enter the area, isn't it? You just walk into every, you know, stupid area. Yeah, this is just back to the beginning. Um... Honestly, hard to say. There's, uh... Less water in the... In Harwell Field, so let's check there first, I guess, and then I'll come back and start, you know, holding every direction and every wrath path once I've run out of every other possible option. Now, that unfortunately means, you know, we're back to wandering this fucking place for the third video. Um, oh my god. So, uh... I'm... 90% sure there was no raft leading into Hyrule Castle, and that's the only water I'm seeing on the right. Well, actually, there's that little river, too. So, if anything, it's over on the left. Um, I guess let's go there and do a quick sweep. I should probably be off-screening this, but... Yeah, we'll see. Oh, goddamn. I forgot about the fucking soldiers. Yeah, let, let's off-screen it. Sorry. Well, I found something, and it was uh, me getting hit by a fireball, apparently. Uh, let's see if this does anything. I will first do it with no button input. Mm, it's looking like just a shortcut. Mm, no. Okay, I'm in magic container. That's not what I needed, but it's nice. Um, can I hold up into the waterfall? That is my next question. It's looking like a no. Can I hold left to make this a shortcut? Not that I need it, but, you know, the other path is right there, so... Yeah, so... Because if not, then that meant that this was going to lead somewhere else. Um, eh, let's try just kind of... Mashing keys, see if anything different happens. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. Uh, anything else? It's a heart pace I can't reach. Is there water down this way? Yeah, there is. Um, actually, I got a comment saying, like, you know, maybe I should have continued past that, uh, bombable area. I don't think I would actually be able to. You can't, like, it's worth investigating, maybe. I don't think I can walk through those. Walkability is sometimes a little, oh, what the hell. Okay, something's hidden there. I can't do anything about it, but something to come back with flippers, I guess. Mm. I don't think this is going to lead to any of the water area. I'm pretty sure something is interactable on this screen, but it's probably bracelet. Like... The, the game said that, like, you know, there was one hookshot, and King Zora gave it to, like, another adventurer, so it would stand to reason that I'll find them at some point, or, like, they died and I get the item from them. And I feel like I shouldn't really need to do, you know, another fucking overworld sweep for that. Anything that requires raft, I guess, is fair game. Anything else, like... I will also mention, I forgot to say this earlier, in in the dungeon, 
there was a, uh, there was like a music note on one of the screens. That doesn't help me because I don't have a way to interact with that, but it was something. I did see a comment from Cast Chaos at one point, though, that was like, you know, I put these things in early game areas because, like, even if you can't interact with them, that doesn't mean that nobody could. Like, they're there for world building. Which is... I don't know how to feel about that. It's like, I get the, I get the sentiment. I kind of like that approach with, like, you know, treating it like a real world and not just, you know, everything has to have a purpose. But it's also a little dickish. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm retreading old ground. So I guess... I guess at this point it's basically... I'll check the rest of the overworld like, off-screen again. I don't think I'm gonna find anything. And then pressing directions at Lake Hylia. And if that doesn't find anything, then I'll just have to watch a video off-screen between segments and continue next time, which is lame, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. Alrighty, we're back here. I sure did not find anything in Hyrule Field, so I'm gonna be just holding left. And, uh, okay, well, we've already gotten something. I'm still holding left. I should probably stop. Alrighty, um... What do you mean? Don't- don't you be doing this. No. No, I'm not- I'm not standing by that. What the fuck was the point of that area, then, if there was- Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, there, there was no crack in the wall, but I guess this goes back to, you know, oh, not everything has to have a point. I don't know about that one. Is there anything else that could have possibly been there? Like, what else would the solution be? I'm gonna go back and check if there was another rafting spot, I guess. Like... What, burn the fucking... shrub? Stop holding directions. But yeah, let, let's get back there. I'm not wasting any more bombs. Um... Okay. Can, can we... can we leave? through some other means. No. Is there a walkthrough wall? No. Can I cut this little plant? It looks like no. Can I burn the plant? Can I bomb the plant? Can I boomerang the plant? No. There, there's just nothing here. Okay. Um... Let's see if there's anything else. Just, uh, just to be clear here, this is what I would call exasperation. Um, I'm still not, like, you know, super pissed off. I'm playing it up a little bit, but, like, what the fuck was that? I'm just kind of trying... Okay, hold on. Here we go. Here's something. Crab battle. Gerudo. Go away! <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, I guess. I guess I'll go away. Oh my god. Okay, um. I'm now trying to think. What would make this change? Because that go away text was I stood in front of her and it was a trigger temp to make some secret flags appear. 
the only thing I could think of, like, when you do that, you've activated secrets on screen. You can't have more than that. So this isn't even boss flags. Like, at least to my understanding of Zelda Classic Mechanics, nothing else will make her go away. Go away. So... Ah, uh, I, I... She's probably just there forever? Okay. Uh, well, this game... Oh my god, it's gonna give me a fucking hernia. Is there anywhere else I've not been? I guess that top right area and the kind of big-ish looking lump... Uh oh, hello, Whirlpool. Uh... Uh, um... Okay. So if I don't hold a direction, I'm just doing this infinitely. If I try to push into the center of the whirlpool, it won't let me go in. So, can I just leave? I, I can't go up. Can I go right? No. Can I go down? No. Okay, I can go left. So, that had a point. Um... I'm finding stuff. It's unindicated. I, I... You know, part of me has no room to complain because I had unmarked raft paths in my quests. At least in the first two. In BA2, I marked them with shit. At least I think I did. There might have been, like, a couple exceptions, but those were usually, like, meant to be impossible to find, I think. Um... But yeah, I learned from, uh, you know, playing Dr. Wily's Revenge that quest uh, only let you turn the raft if you passed by an object and you can kind of like, you know, push off of it and that made sense to me. So I'm like, okay, that's a good indication. Because otherwise, you know, ha having to constantly check all four directions like on every tile oh, I forgot that was there. Um, on every tile of a raft path is kind of garbage. And that's how I'm feeling about this. This is not you know, tricky secret, you know, to try to burn every off-color bush type thing. This is just press every direction on the raft path until you find something. And definitely not a fan of that. Was there a raft over here, or was this just the boat in the hookshot area? Yeah, it's just that, okay. I'm gonna check this bottom path again. I'll try holding, like, down or right or something. I already found a little island with, like, that ruby on it, but... I've tried bombing this, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm holding down. I guess it's only ever two directions you need to be holding. Because it's definitely not ever the way that you're already moving or the way directly behind you, but, you know, it's still... It basically amounts to, you know, mashing buttons and hope it does something. Which means you get to hear me do this. Uh, okay, I could probably just be holding it right here. Just to check, there was no raft over here, right? I think I looked for this already. Yeah, there, there wasn't. It was up here again, I think it was just nothing. Yeah, it's pretty much nothing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to also assume that, you know, we, we've seen at this point now two part, like two sections where there was an unmarked raft path, but it was always to get off of something from a clearly marked one. So I, I don't want this quest to fucking turn into, like, oh, by the way, you know, right here, you can go off and use the raft. Like, because that is possible. I just don't want to consider that possibility yet, because that's a reality I'm not willing to face. Um, 
I don't know if we've gotten that obscure. So here we're gonna mash left and right. I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. So we're going back to Rupee Island. Yeah, okay, so we've discovered Rupee Island a couple times. Let me go back, I'll hold left, and then I'll mash again to try and see if I can reach that other little island. And that might have to be where we give up, if we can't get there. That spot there is really suspicious, but you probably come back at flippers. Yeah, no, there's just nothing. Okay, so at this point I'm comfortable in saying that I have absolutely no fucking idea what I need to do. The answer probably just is in the dungeon. I don't know what it is. If, you know, if somebody manages to guess it before I put up the next video, um, yeah. So here's the thing, I'm uploading these on the same day, at least, you know, wh while they're unlisted. When they go public, I assume we'll be a week apart, but that'll be, you know, ages from now. Um, if anybody has watched that video, this video, and is like, you know, you ignorant slut, obviously you were supposed to use the bait on this wall here. Please let me know. <laughs> I want to know if I was dumb and missed it. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at a walkthrough see what to do, and I guess we'll start that next time, and hopefully not immediately run into another blockhead.